It's amazing, isn't it? What? What? That it should all end here. All these questions, all this deception. The death of an innocent woman. Right here in some musty museum exhibition hall. So an ancient cult, huh? What do you think, Robert? Larceny comes to mind. Maybe. Or maybe they're going to blow the whole place up. Maybe they're going to, ex uh, you know, axe the exhibition. Maybe they're going to turn the whole thing into a drive-in, you know, put the whammy on it. It's a couple of questions right now that come to mind. I think the first thing we've got to figure out is uh, how to prove to Jackie that her sister is being controlled by Gray. Why? Why? Yeah, why do we have to prove it to Jackie? Because there are four spokes in this wheel, Tiffer. Us and her. And I'm afraid, I hate to admit it, but I'm afraid if one of those spokes is removed, the wheel's gonna collapse. Is she that important? Well, I'm afraid her contribution just might be. Well, what do you say? Let's get going. Let's get started. Nothing in here for us. Okay. down this place except weeds, rock, and probably some rusted beer cans. Well, what do you pick on, on when you sweep the adjacent areas? Oh, fascinating noises. It's a whole audiophonic mystery. There's a, there's a sewer on channel one, and there's a train on channel two, and there's a nest of rats on channel three. Terrific. But no tunnels. Okay, no tunnels. Well, at least we tried. Now what? Got an idea. I'm going to train this equipment on the museum building itself. If 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 Gray is trying to monitor or bug the electronic alarm system, this lot will pick it up. Do we have to wait here? No. I'll set it up to run an automatic. Then we can go into the museum and see what's happening. The silly idea of Luke's trying to prove that Laura's a spy. Is he going to continue with it? Yeah. And I was hoping by now you would have gotten used to the idea that it's something that has to be done. Look, first rule of battle. You check out everything and you expect everything. That's just it. I'm sick of battles. All I care about is making sure that Laura's safe. She's safe, considering the shape she's in. I know what shape she's in. She's under some awful spell. Yes, yeah, probably post-hypnotic. We shouldn't be using her. We should be trying to help her. Look, love, in the first place, we're not harming her in any way. Secondly, you should think about this. Ever thought that she may be using us? I bet she wouldn't do that. I didn't say she'd do it intentionally. But look, she's under a post-hypnotic suggestion. She can't control herself. Well, she just does what she's told, but I don't like it. And I hate what's going on. There's nothing I can do about it. Not at the moment. 
The time's on our side. Why do you say that? Because Gray knows we're watching him. Watching him, digging, pushing, pressing. It's just a matter of time before we figure all this out. All we have to do is keep on questioning. Don't stop. Come on. You're letting me in like this, Mr. Ford. Do you remember I showed you a medallion not long ago that you said, it's right here, you said was uh, a replica, that it was uh, definitely a ripoff. Well, look at it. Could have been minted yesterday. But I also told you that you I was no New York. That's take, right. I took it to New York. And? Well, it seemed to be sort of a draw. I, uh, I don't understand. Well, there was one expert who felt the same as you do, that it's uh, definitely a replica. Uh -huh. Uh, so you spoke to someone else? I did. A very old gentleman, stoop-shouldered. He had one of those uh, uh, jewelry things hanging from his face. He stared at it so long I thought he'd gone to his reward. What did he say? He wanted to buy it. And the way he was talking, I think he was talking some pretty heavy bucks. He wanted to know where I got it, how then, it... Then uh, he thought it was genuine. No, not think, Mr. Forbes. He knew it was genuine. In fact, he told me that it is definitely an Alexandrian uh, tetradrachma or something like that. It was minted... Do, uh, do you recall his name? Uh, Thompson, I think. <laughs> yes, that would have to be Ivan Tiamkin. He's a legend. He wrote the book on late Roman Republican coinage and... Uh, wait, wait just a moment. Now, uh, I'm no expert on coinage, but... Uh, let me see. Yes, uh, I can understand why Tiamkin was so excited. Well, let me in on it, will well, you? Well, look at them. Well, yeah, they, they, they look exactly alike. No, 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 that, that's superficial. A, a counterfeit $20 bill looks like the real thing, but look at the modeling of the helmet, the line of the chin. No, I'm looking. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Spencer. Uh, there's just no way for me to describe what I mean. If you've lived your life looking, touching, well, living well, next to Are you telling me that you agree with this, Thompson? Uh, uh, Tiomkin. No, it, it's deeper than that. Now, when I first looked at your medallion, what I saw was that it was new, fresh, uncirculated. But now, you telling me about Tiomkin's opinion makes me really look at it, see it for the first time. All right, now, I, I think I know where you're going with this, but how, how do you explain it? Well, you don't. There, there, there's no way. But, but what we're saying is that uh, you have a brand new coin that's over 2,300 years old. Oh, now, wait a minute, pal. Let's don't lose our heads. I mean, something is either old or it's new or it's somewhere in between, right? Well, I'd like to think that, but there are But times. you can't. Why? What? Well, this, this leaves us only a couple of possibilities. Now, one, I guess, is that somebody found original dyes. Okay, what are the chances of that? Maybe one in a billion. I don't like those odds. Anything else? That uh, your coin was minted at the same time as this one, uh, but kept in a sealed box, untouched. Kept looking the way it looked that day in uh, 325 B.C., or whenever some human hand took it from the die. What are the odds of that? <laughs> what can I tell you? Good sense says uh, slightly better than the odds that uh, somebody found original dies and started striking these coins again. Yeah, but here it is. I mean, they're perfect mates. How do you explain it? But... I'm no expert, but yes. But, Mr. Forbes, this is really my last question. How do you explain it? I said I'm no expert, Mr. Spencer. And more than that, I'm no mind reader. Now, now what do you want? A story about some undiscovered treasure? Now, I'm the... Uh, I'm the curator of a very important museum, and I wouldn't think of making up tales like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting with Mrs. Quartermain and the board. Well, certainly. Thank you very much for your time. Well, it was a pleasure. Uh, uh, by the way, is uh, Mr. Scorpio planning to stop by today? Yes, he is. He wanted to talk to you about the security for the exhibit. Well, uh, will you tell him I'll be upstairs whenever he wants to see me? I will, and thank you again for your time. Thank you, yes. Oh, one more thing, Mr. Spencer. What's that? If we happen to have the odds wrong, if you should come across uh, another brand new coin, 23 centuries old, yeah. uh, Tiamkin was right. The museum would like a chance to bid on it, and it would be uh, very big bucks indeed.